Hello, my name is Kate. Um, I upload every day at 11 a.m. Check it out. And I want to tell you a, I want to tell you a yield tale about why it is so important to be confident and how a short king almost swept me off my feet. Um, so I was at the Soho Grand in New York City. Um, if you've been there, you know the drill. And if you haven't, um, honestly, good for you, it sucks. So basically I go with my petite blonde friend and I'm only saying she's petite blonde because, well, I don't know, I wanna like illustrate it for you. And Soho Grand is, it's like the Hamptons. It's full of petite blondes. It's full of chads. It's very much bottle service. Um, I think a lot of celebrities go. I honestly have no idea. I've only been once. Um, I know what you're thinking. Wow, you're gonna judge your whole experience on one time? Yeah, I am. <laughs> what are you gonna do? So anyways, I go, I'm like, I have plans to go out with my friend that night. And she was like, let's go to this whole grand. I love it there. And I was like, okay, I will. So I go. And first of all, first of all, first of all, it is, ooh, it is so douchey. Like, the people, you know how like doormen, they get power trippy and listen, I get it. People are drunk, they're annoying. You got all the power, you're gonna use it. Um, but they were just standing there and just like looking at all of us like peasants. And I felt like one, honestly, I was like, damn, this sucks. It's honestly kind of embarrassing. So anyways, we're just waiting there and they're just taking their job so seriously. And at one point they're like opening the rope for people in front of us and I'm walking in as well behind them and they just quickly close the rope and they look at me and I was like damn what the f Jesus anyways um we were standing next to this couple this girl and this guy gorgeous stunning girl the guy was cute um but anyways first of all so we finally get in I'm like lord finally and it's so loud and you know, I was like sober at this point. So you know how I feel about being in crowded loud spaces. It's not fun for me, but I wanted to go out with my girl. I wanted to shake some and listen, <laughs> we're gonna do it. So anyways, we show up and we're gonna go to the bar cause we're gonna get a seltzer cause this girl was sober too. And we're like measling our way to the bar. And, and that guy that was with the girlfriend outside comes up to me and the girlfriend, <laughs> is nowhere to be found. And he looks at me and he goes, you Italian? And I was like, no, I'm, I'm Greek. He was like, you're beautiful. And then walks away and is like ashamed doing it. He's like looking down while he's talking to me. And I'm like, what was the point of that? You're obviously with a girl here. And that was just like, what the, f like, it was so confused. It was like, what, what did you get out of that interaction? Cause you were looking down and then you darted away. Kind of just weird. So there's a big crowd. We're moseying our way to the bar. And my friend, Petit Blonde, is getting stopped by Chad's left and right. I mean, every second. Yo, can I get your number? Yo, blah, blah. Can I? So this one Chad comes up to her and she's into it. And you know, they're talking, I'm letting her do her thing. I'm just, you know, standing there, truly vibing, swaying from side to side, scoping out the scene, you know? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm just like vibing. And then I hear someone go, hey! And I was like, Ooh. and I look to my right. And I look to my left and then I look behind me and then I look down and he's there. <gasps> and I was like, oh, <laughs> hey, um, he was like five, six. I was six feet in heels. So, you know, I'm packing six, four packing. That was a weird thing to say. And so I am looking down at this man. Cool. And then he looks at me, he goes, what's up? I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm into this. <laughs> like, whoa when a short man i've said this before in a video when he is confident around a tall woman oh my god it literally happened yesterday at that pool party this guy was like i don't mind that you're taller than me at all and i was like Phew. um anyways what was i even saying got lost in the short king translation you know what i mean and so he's like what's up i was like oh. <laughs> what's up with you sir and I'm just like looking down at him, talking to him, having a gag. And then he actually turned out to be really weird. He uh, started saying some really bizarre things. And I was like, okay, you're, you are making me uncomfortable. And I'm gonna slowly back away now. Um, and those situations are always so awkward because you're talking to someone and then as you're talking to them, you realize that they are um, <laughs> scary. And you're like, damn, this is crazy. How do I get out of this? 
Um, my friend's just like yapping up with the chat. And it's like, who do I have to say me? That fucking loser guy that hit on me with a girlfriend? No. So I was like, um, so I think I just hit him with the classic. I was like, oh, I gotta find my friend. And then he was like, cool, can I have your number? And I was like, I don't, I don't have a phone. Um, so anyways, all that to say, the confidence and the riz in the beginning of that conversation, <laughs> truly, you're just like, what's up? I'm not intimidated. Woo! Woo! I'm here for it. Um, but not a lot of guys are like that. I'll be real. I won't lie to you. Anyways, I go over to my friend in her chat and I was like, hey, sorry, but I gotta be talking to you right now because um, I told someone that I was gonna come over and they cut me off. They're like, no, nah, I don't really care. And I was like, yeah, true, why would you? Um, and I started talking to the chat. He was really cool. He was really cool, but she wasn't into it. And I remember looking at him and I was like, you're a good man. He was like, okay. I was like, okay. You had to make it weird. We did end up getting our Diet Cokes. We shook some moderate ass and then we hit the road. Sober, woke up the next morning. I remember I city biked. It was amazing, it was amazing. Um, and that's on a sober woman of integrity for the most part, so. Yeah, that's my story of the Soho Grand in New York. Um, yeah. But in the meantime,